Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we have a review of a fragrance from the House of Bond number no. 9. It is none other than Bond number no. 9's Little Italy. Here's the bottle. It looks just like the other Bond number no. 9 bottles. The only difference with this one is that obviously it's orange and it says Little Italy here on the circle. This is a 50 milliliter. The other ones are a little bit larger than this or about twice the size as this size. Uh, but either way, it's pretty much standard. The top is kind of loose. You can twirl it around like that. But a sprayer leaves a little bit to be desired as well. But other than that, it looks just like and acts just like the other Bond number no. 9 bottle. So there is nothing spectacular about that. Now, this fragrance was released in the year 2004. This fragrance it was created by uh, Francis Camel. And the 50 milliliter can run you about $175, and the 100 milliliter will run you about $230. So it is a very pricey fragrance. I got this bottle for very cheap, actually. I bought it for, I think, around $50. Somebody was selling it on a fragrance group, and I noticed they posted it for first for, like, I don't know, $100 at first. Then they kept dropping it down, kept dropping it down, and finally uh, they said, all right, you know what? At, it was either 50 or $60 it said, all right, this is the lowest that I'm possibly going to go uh, before I go ahead and put this thing on eBay. And so for $50, I thought, you know what, you know, this is well less than a third of the price uh, that it's that it retails for. So why don't I just, you know, go ahead and buy it? And that's what I went, wound up doing. So it was kind of a blind buy for me. I mean, uh, the price of a niche fragrance for the price of you know, less than most designers, I figured, you know what, it's worth a gamble. It had supposedly, supposedly it was a heavy citrus, and I figured, you know what, let's take a gamble into it. But what it smells like, I'll get into that in a bit. Let's start with the notes. For the top, we have clementine, grapefruit, mandarin. And for our mid, we have tangerine and jasmine. And for our base, we have sheer musk. What this smells like, wow. When you start off, it actually has a very pleasant, citrus blast when you immediately just spray it on your skin. The first thing that you smell is just a, a citrus blast. All of those notes that you were listed in, I mean, everything except for the jasmine and the musk were all citrus notes, and that's exactly what you get from the fragrance. You're gonna get, you can smell the grapefruit, you can smell the oranges, you can smell clementine, which is kind of like an orange, but uh, tangerine, tangerine variations, orange variations, you get all of that on this when you come in. The problem with this fragrance is the musk. The musk combination with the citrus, it gives it this, this, ugh, this, this undertone of just n nastiness, basically. I'm not sure how else to describe it. If you're a person who does like the musk and combination together, you're probably going to love this scent. But I don't think most people who are used to getting citruses will like this scent. Because after about maybe a minute or two minutes is when the musk starts to come out into it. And it just turns into something that's reminds me of a of orange cleaner almost like there's a couple of orange spray cleaners that you kind of spray around your house and you know scrub down that's what this actually reminds me of that's the first thing that popped in popped into my mind when uh, I smelled it for a while in fact when I first cracked this open uh, from the box at first I thought okay this guy just sold me a fragrance that was uh, that was ruined in the mail because it's too old. And I, I kept thinking to myself, there's no way that this fragrance smells this bad or like this. And so I went and got some Bond number no. 9 samples. Sure enough, it smelled the exact same. I did not have a faulty bottle. It's what exactly it smells like. And I was pretty disappointed in that. So in my opinion, the musk is really what's ruining this scent. And it makes sense now that I think in my head why I don't see many citruses mixed in with musk because it probably does something like this to it. But either way, that's pretty much the smell that you're going to get when you spray this. Now for sprays, I give it anywhere between two and three sprays. This was a little bit harder for me to wear and to try out for it, but two and three sprays is uh, the safe bet that you're gonna go ahead and do with this. For the occasion, casual and work are pretty much the two occasions that I can see for it. Even with work, I say you're chancing it a little bit more. I personally think this smells a little bit nasty. Some other people were a little bit more reserved and. Uh, their opinion of it, so it smells like cleaner, but, you know, do you want to go to work smelling like a cleaner? It's not necessarily too bad, but it's something to keep in mind. For the season, definitely a spring or summer scent. For your age group, I would suggest, because of the musk, 25 and up. 
it does have more of a mature vibe. The very the opening is a very playful and friendly thing, but again, that goes away after about a minute or two, and you're left with uh, the citrus on top of musk. Projection and sillage. Projection is about average. Sillage is a little bit under average. It doesn't relieve much of a scent trail at all. And for longevity, <coughs> expect to get anywhere between five and uh, six hours on this one. Now, let's get on to what other people thought of this fragrance. Here's some. So this is for Little Italy. Um, it, it's got a very strong fruity smell. Um, it smells like something you spray on your food. Um, it smells like food. Um, I'd give it a C. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it just doesn't, it's not something you'd want to spray on yourself, I don't think. So I can tell you what I don't like about this fragrance, and that is that um, it smells a little bit like, say, um, a household kitchen cleaner or something like Pledge. It has a really fresh lemony or orange smell to it, which I think is great, again, for like a household product, but not for a, um, a fragrance scent. So I don't prefer this one, and I guess I would give that like an F because I don't think I would buy it as a fragrance. So you remember when you had those little Pez dispensers that would pop open and like use it around their neck and you plot a piece of Pez? And if you ever want to smell like that, this is what you want. It smells like Pez. Not that I have a problem because I actually like Pez, but um, if you want to smell fruity, sort of, I don't know, just, like if you're joking around, nothing serious. This isn't something you want. So I, like either like lemon Pez or lemon pledge, one or the other. But not in a bad way, you know, just like the best versions of that. Definitely citrus of some kind. Uh, I would give it a C, just because it's, you know, I feel that it only used for very, very rare. Okay, this smells like going into a gas station bathroom. It's too perfumey, too orangey and artificial. Um, and I give it an F. I actually really agree with it. That's the first thing I thought, that this smells like a cleaning detergent. This, um, it's very citrusy, but not in a pleasant way. I give it a D. So, as you can see <laughs> from the opinions, you had fruity, this reminds you of food spray, uh, kitchen cleaner came up, pledge came up multiple times, uh, Pez dispenser, a gas station bathroom, artificial cleaning detergent, cleaning detergent, not a pleasant citrus. These are the types of things, even besides those five people who smell this scent, there were other people who even got whiffs of this who thought the exact same thing. There was only, in matter of fact, there was only, I think, two people who I came across who loved this scent or who liked this scent a lot. The rest, and I'm talking about two out of at least 50 people that came across this, you know, liked it, the others did not. This was not a, fa uh, a fragrance that, you know, got a lot of fanfare. So, with that, the ratings were C, C, F, F, and a D. So, I mean, yeah, those were the opinions of those people in there. Now, let's get on to the ratings for this. For scent, I'm going to give this rating an F. The scent, like I said, it starts off pleasant, uh, but that pleasant lasts like a minute. After that, it just turns into we. Yeah, it's just not so, it's just not something for me. Other people may like it. It's just not something that I like at all. Uh, for scent, I'm gonna give it an F. For projection, I'm gonna give this one a C. Projection is average. It's gonna do just about what a cologne should do for projection, and that's average. For sillage, I'm gonna give this one a C minus. Sillage, it's a little bit under average. Doesn't really stick around uh, too long for it, but. Uh, this category may actually be a little bit in need of tweaking just because I tend to keep it around two sprays for it just because I really couldn't take any more of uh, spraying on this. But yeah, I give it a C-. minus For uniqueness, I'm going to give this one a C- minus as well for uniqueness. The uh, It's just plain citrus basically on top of musk. Now, that combination kind of feels like, okay, you know, musk and citrus, it's never been done before. Well, it's never been done before for a reason. It, or it's seldom done for a reason because it looks like adding must to citrus does this. So uh, for uniqueness, I can't really give it a high score for it. C minus for uniqueness. For longevity, I'm gonna give it a C. 
longevity is about average basically for a fragrance five six hours yeah c for versatility i'm gonna give this one a c minus i said you can wear it casually and for work i, I still even th those two are stretches to me i still can't really find any scenario that we truly would wear just because you know or you're gonna wear cleaner too and that's really what it reminds me of so yeah for versatility a c minus Compliments, F. Didn't get a single compliment with this. And yeah, I didn't get a single compliment. In fact, I got more, I guess you could say, negative fanfare from this one uh, than I did anything else. The one thing that I attribute to this scent was one time as I was testing it, I wore it on the subway. I sat down, lady got up who was next to me and went and sat somewhere else. So uh, yeah. It had that effect. And for overall uh, rating, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an F. This is not a pleasant scent that I like. And the reason why I'm giving it an F, I mean, a lot of times I'll find scents that I don't like. And that's not out of the ordinary. I can still see other people who like this, stuff like that. But the other reason I'm giving it an F is because of the price. For $175 for... A fragrance that is so simple and so unappealing or unappeasing I can't really give it a good score at all and for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and give it an F but I will put a but in there if I would, I would highly suggest you try it out because the citrus most almost everyone likes citrus the citrus if you can stand that musk with it this fragrance is going to work perfect for you if not then no it's really a matter of that if you can take that mint that musk mix with the citrus, that'll determine if you like the fragrance or not. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free, let me know, leave me a message, do whatever you gotta do. Thank you, take care of yourselves, and have a great day.